Worldwide Seller, what's happening, people? It's your boy Dre the Reaper, and guys, I'm here with the squad. We here. Port of Prince, Raheem and Jane. Lady O. Yo. And you guys, we got another episode for you guys. Uh, today was a slight light work, meaning that we did squat, deadlift, and a small little accessory. Uh, today, base is uh, on like a 90, 95 percent top set. What did you say? 92 percent top set? No. Well, around yeah. there, around there. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was close to that, but um, so today we'll just try to touch a little top set and then uh, work our way down from uh, the squat and deadlift. We just did a medium uh, workload because we do have BBL lifting party coming out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, guys, do check out... Um, Body by Lolita. Body by Lolita page. Yes, NDO is coming in town. Yes, sir. Uh, it's going to be a party, man. Champ. Uh, last year was dope. It was the second annual lifting party last year. It was dope. It was a blast. You know, these guys didn't come last year, but they're coming this, yeah, year. this year. Um, this year. Lady O didn't lift last year, but she's going to lift this year. So there's a lot of new things happening. And then I, I'm, I'm even getting hit up on the Instagram by people that heard about it. It's like, yo, I'm coming, dude. So, you know, it's going to be dope. Um... Big shout out to all the lifters from last year. It was a great party, man. Big, big event happened. But we're like seven days from that right now. So basically, we're going to start tempering down the work and, you know, taking time off and get ready for that lifting party. You know what I'm saying? Is anybody looking for any PRs? I'm definitely looking for a PR. <laughs> no, I'm just going to chill. I'm looking for, I'm looking for, listen, I want to save myself for next year. I'm looking for a PR. I ain't going to say my numbers, but I'm bringing that work. I'm bringing that work. I'm bringing that work. Maybe in the deadlift. Oh. Maybe in the Maybe deadlift. deadlift. Yeah, that's yeah, my strongest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I squat. Think, yeah. No. I'm squat. I'll watch you, Lydia. I'm trying to hit all three. All yeah. three. Hey, PRs. <laughs> hey, PRs, man. Coming off of a powerlifting meet, you know. Got to redeem myself a little bit for some well, call and stuff. I did, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. You got high expectations for yourself. You still got to improve. There's only growth from here, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so so guys, like I said, you know, this is uh, seven days out. So so we're looking we're looking pretty all right, man. Everybody's injury free. Everybody's fresh. You know, yes, uh, we're just trying to go in with a good mindset and have fun. So, um, for the most part, today workout was concise, but uh, like I said, guys, we're gonna do a little Q and A. Uh, and last video, if you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. <laughs> Um, Raheem, yeah. Carl went in, and I even edited a lot of stuff out because there's a lot of stuff that said, yeah, 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 yeah. I edited a lot of stuff out, you know. But um, oh, that, that's how that's how it is, you know. It's straight honesty, you know. Yeah. We, we don't spit no fairy tales, you know. It's, it is facts, you know. what I'm saying, and this is what we do. So um, we're gonna give it to your blood raw every blood time, raw, man. Bro. Every time we're gonna give it to y'all raw and uncut. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, today Q and A, we're gonna basically gonna start it off with like, far as like, you lifting throughout the years, right? What would you say like the most? I'm going back to injuries because you know I, I see people struggle with this year out, year in. What would you say is the best recovery when you go to like a big injury? And get better. I stay away from the gym. When when I'm injured, I just I'm out the gym. And I go to the park, just relax, and it's more mental for me when I'm injured. You know, because, I don't know how to explain it, but it's more mental, you know what I'm saying? So I just stay out the gym, get my mind right, and then when I'm ready, I get back to it. You know, so. right? Yeah, it's a little different for me, like, because I feel like days off, I, like, days off from the gym, I feel like I'm losing games. <laughs> Some way, somehow, I'm gaining calories while I'm... You don't like I'm, taking days off? I hate taking days off. But what you, even you even if you're injured? When I'm injured, like, I, even when I'm injured, I try to walk, do some cardio or try to do some rehab in the gym. Okay. So, so, so you believe so, in the rehab? Yes, aspect. yes, yes. I, I believe in the rehab, mom. And you don't like, believe in, like, pulling away from the gym? No, not at all. That's just me. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't just stay completely away while I'm injured. I have to be doing some type of mobility because... I have problems with my lower back, mm -hmm. so um, that's the only um, only injury I have personally, and um, I mean, which is which is okay. But I try to focus on mobility and try to keep keep it going. Try to keep it going because once I, I stay still, I get stiff and I get less mo less motivated as I get up and I stand up and I'm feeling pain and stuff like that. I'm like oh, I don't want to do this, but if I keep on going, stay consistent, um, I, I, I I'll heal up. You know, say basically just rehab myself. So that's how I do. Well, if I take a day. 
regroup, recover, eat, all that stuff. And then of course, you definitely want to rehab, mobility, stability works, active recovery. You want to do some active stretching. So just take time to do that. If it's really that bad though, I don't feel as though you got to go in the gym and risk re-injuring or making it worse. Right. You got to listen to your body. Everybody's different, but I believe in both. Oh, yes, yes, you know, I mean, same, Every, everything you guys say, same thing here, like, I'll spend less time in the gym, but I'll definitely try to do as much as I can to recover. I am a big believer in, like, training all the time, but if you, you're not feeling 100%, back off of it, you know, if you got to do arms, do arms, yeah. man, because you can't, your legs ain't functional, but I don't think you need to back off completely from the gym, but you just need to make sure you be mindful of that, you know, so, all what you guys said is basically what I agree to. You know, mobility work, all that stuff, stretching and all that stuff. So, my next question for you guys is, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna change up how I started because I remember last time you was like, "Yo, let me go." <laughs> so, 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 Ryan. So, what is your typical diet? I mean, what do your typical diet look like right now? Because I'm, I'm in the growing phase right growing now. Growing phase. Yeah. yeah bulking I'm, season. I'm bulking up. I'm bulking up. So I'm, Swole winter yeah, boy. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. So I'm averaging a, about five to six meals. Yeah. Good meals. Um. Our carbs, um, our carb cycle, our carb cycle. So you know, what I'm saying? like, like explain carb cycle because I don't right, think a so, lot of people understand what carb right, cycle is. Right, 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 so. right. For me, from, from my research and what I've learned, carb cycling is three days low, three days high, and um, I take that last thing and just that that's my rest day. But um, yeah, so I I go high carbs for three days and then I do do low carbs for the following three. You can switch it up however you, however you feel. That's for me. So I um I carb cycle with that. And I implement two um, fasted cardio days. Two fasted cardio days. And I try to eat clean as possible, man. Even when you're bulking, it's not just go buy a box of pizza and, oh, my gosh, I'm about to indulge. Go eat some fries. Oh, that's, that's, that's dirty. That's dirty bulk. You want a clean bulk. You know what I'm saying? Keep the muscle on, growing, and keep the fat low. Good. That's my, my idea of a diet. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the thing. I know my brother's a part, um, bodybuilder, right? Yeah. So he's into the meal prep. So... I just it is for him. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I told him, no, 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 no. So I told him just cook extra, not just it is shit. Cause I'm not. Okay, if okay. it's up to me, I'm just gonna eat anything. Thinking so. Uh, it's it's that is on point. So you know, shout out to you. To you, bro. Yeah, you already know, so, man. So you keep it called in check. You yeah, you know it. You know what I'm saying? I just it is food. Like he he was balking like for a good three months. So I was just eating. Yeah, he put some eat. size on though. Yeah, yeah he did. He definitely put some size on. But I add an extra shake from time to time because I feel like. What kind I of need, shake? Um, like what, kind of, what kind of shake you want now? It's um, called the Hawk. The Hawk. The Hawk. So it's like, like a bulking kind of it shake. It is. Yeah. It's like 800 calories. But it's like, yeah, I get the smallest size because I won't tell who. Because the, the largest one is like 1,200 calories. Mm. And that's, that's too much for me. So the one. Go ahead. Is that the one from Smoothie King? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah like, so, I, think I, I think I had it before. Oh, yeah. the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, yeah, the Incredible so, Hulk drink. Yeah. I had, I had some called Muscle Bill. I just sent it in the menu. I'm like, go ahead and have that. <laughs> it's been working so far. So, yeah. you know, if you ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey. <laughs> My number's going up. And I feel good. Yeah, so, yeah. You definitely getting so, stronger, bro. For real. Definitely. Not getting stronger. Getting bad, too. Wow, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Well, nowadays, <laughs> being that I'm powerlifting still, so I'm kind of maintaining a high protein diet, a little low on carbs, and I also started implementing some <laughs> intermittent fasting. So I try to fast for like 15 to 20 hours. I did it this past week. Um, it is kind of a drastic way to kind of drop weight. I dropped two pounds in a day, so yeah, it's rough, man. On this powerlifting kind of program. You want to eat everything all the time. So the struggle has been real. But yeah, that's currently what I'm doing right now. I'm super conscious now. So what I try to do now is eat more. And I eat clean 90% of the time. And like like every other day I throw something in dirty. Probably not every other day. Probably like four days later I'll, I'll put something in dirty. But my dirty, probably like a hamburger. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff that people are like, oh, that's not that dirty. But f for me it is. You know what I'm saying? But... I stay away from bread. I stay away from like pasta. I stay away from like ice cream. I stay away from heavy cheese. Like I stay away from a lot of stuff because it's just like the way it affects my body. You know what I'm saying? So I'm super conscious now about my diet. I'm not particular. I'm not in a low calorie deficit or in a high calorie surplus. I'm right in between. And that's just because I got this one product to me that I got to do, I mean, which is next week. And after that is a calorie surplus, baby. You're going to see your boy grow.
And then plus two, when you genetics play a big part in it, you can you have those cheat meals. <laughs> you can have those cheat meals, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, guys, I don't go too dirty. Yeah, you have you know brownies, bro. I should have brownies, bro. Like, yeah, hey, 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 but, I'm but, still talking about but, brownies, bro. bro. Oreos and all that, bro. But let's stay away from that, though. That was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Oreos for like um, a year now. Bro. No. So, so, guys, we're going to get into some juicy topics here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I meant to talk about this last week, but we done spilled over so much, and we don't really have much time left, too. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to jump right into it. So, start off with you, Lady O. Like, um, what is your typical idea of a spouse and just a typical person you look at as far as, like, yeah. Being that you're a fitness person, like how do you make a pick of your m- mate? Well, they definitely got to be into fitness. Uh-huh. I've been on the backside of it where the other counterpart wasn't into fitness, and I blew up because I'm trying to match that person. If you're with the person for X amount of time, you're trying to eat the same. Isn't you're that crazy around though? the same time. <laughs> it's bad, but it's very true. You two have to be on the same page. I'm not saying you got to be at the gym seven days a week. I'm just saying you got to incorporate it four to five days. You got to understand the value of fitness. And that's how I choose. Mm-hmm. I don't know about y'all, but. Like me personally, you got to work out. Because if I'm trying to be serious with you, if I put a baby in that, you're going to blow up. <laughs> I'm being honest now. It's gonna true. Blow up. She's going to gain weight. And then not just that, it's like that you're going to get in the way because you're going to start complaining about not spending time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to work out. It's just one minute, period. You gotta got have some kind of part of fitness. Yeah, I'm not saying you gotta be like, like you know, bodybuilder. Or yeah, you just yeah, gotta, you know, get your thing. ass in the gym, do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with me. Like, in order for me to, to date you and actually take you seriously, mm-hmm. mentally, physically, like you have to, yeah, especially like you have to have some type of fitness um, in your mindset and incorporate it into your life. Cause like it's something what I do. Man, you guys are cold, man. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest, bro. Like this, this is what I do. This is my passion. This is my life. You feel me? Like, so I'm not saying honestly what what he said was correct. You don't have to be no power lifter, bodybuilder chick coming out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, just you, yeah, yeah, like exactly, bro. You know, incorporate in your life. It's fitness, is health, health, is wealth. Just and that. So yeah, so, I need that. so so why she come to the gym and do cardio? And that's it. Nah, baby. <laughs> Would you guys have the patience to take your girl under your wing and kind of oh. show her the way? That's Ooh, Daniel Walsh again, personal now. No, I'm just saying there's a difference. Next time. There's a difference takes between, time. yo, you got to go work me, out, and yeah, yo, uh, let me show you how hey, okay, okay, this okay, let me, let me Baby, that. girl, I'm going to change your whole life, baby. Let me girl, come on. Let me answer that. You got to have the patience to teach somebody. You know what I'm saying? I always tell the girl, I don't have the patience for it. So me personally, I know I am. I'm not. Uh, when it comes to that, I'm not really too patient. So I already meet somebody in the gym. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. So you rather you rather a female that's already in the yeah, game of yeah, fitness exactly. as so, opposed to fresh out. Yeah, I got take that's time a preference out of my thing. time. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't have that much time. I work. Every day. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be an uh, ass, but I'm just saying I work every day. You ain't got time to be. Yeah, I gotta train you. So I'm uh, not. Nah. No, I'm good, bro. What about you, Ray? I'm the opposite, man. Listen, <laughs> she, she can be <laughs> fresh off for nothing. You feel me? Fresh off, I'm talking about name work. Fresh out. off the boat. Fresh off the boat, man. <laughs> I'm going to train her, I'm going to dial her in, and I'm going to have fun doing it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm going to make sure, like, every time we train, it's going to be like, I'm going to kill her. You feel me? I'm good. Listen, and uh, look, we're real talk, bro. Like, y'all got something to say. Hold on, y'all got. Go ahead, girl. Hold on, I lost my train. Edit that. But yeah, though, it's, it's okay, baby girl. If you, ain't, you feel me, if you ain't training, like, I'll take my time with you, you feel me? You know? Okay. Where's the other girl? I feel like, I feel like, if you really want it, if you really want it, then I'll work with you. But I don't want you to do it just because I like doing it. I want you, it's something that you want to do, because I feel like, if you're doing it because that's what I like, you're going to get comfortable. I want point, and you know, you're going to start doing it. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a point there. I think you're going to get comfortable at one point, and you know, you're going to start doing it. So, you have a point there. Mm-hmm. And tapping into what she said, like I feel like if you're not incorporating that in, in, into into your lifestyle, they're slowing me down. Cause exactly, we're gonna be going out, hitting the streets a little right. bit, just, little dates here and there. I we're gonna be like, indulging in food. You are gonna be home, baby. I'm gonna cook you some food. What you cooking? It ain't gonna be healthy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be something that's that's lined up with what I eat and a part of my diet. So you know what I'm saying? I need you to have that a little bit. It's all about self love too. Like you gotta love yourself. You know, yeah. take, care take care of yourself. I'd be saying a little woman like, especially I'm gonna give. 
example of high school. Like I'm in high school, I see a lot of girls that used to be fine. And yeah, you look at them now, I'm just like, I look, I don't even look at them, I just look past them. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm, I'm embarrassed for you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How you let yourself go? Like, yeah, yeah, happens, I'm not trying to sound like an ass, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? You gotta love yourself. Yeah. But no cardio. No, no, no cardio check. Nah, no, no cardio <laughs> check, bro. That's skin and bones. That's skin and bones right now. I need a little bit of meat on you, baby girl. Just a little bit, you feel me? <laughs> and we locked in. You're just not a good person, you know what I'm saying? That's street smart, and you just. I feel like a lot of people let, naive, like, naive, man. They're just naive, naive yeah. but they just, um, the degree make them, you know what I'm saying? They take the big shot because of the yeah, degree they have. Yeah. So. That's why I say the degree don't matter to me is what you have, baby. What and about you, you right now? Yeah, like, I need my girl to, like, at least be. You need a doctor or you need a McDonald's <laughs> flipper? No, I don't need a McDonald's flipper, bro. Basically, like you said, holding a, a good com- yeah. special com- conversation with me, yeah. that's good. But, like, as, if you're just, like, kind of, like, Airheadish a little bit, like that's completely a deal breaker. So I need the ed- education to be up a little bit. You feel me? Because I, I can learn from you. I have no problem yeah. dealing with a chick that I know intellectually have, have is smarter than me. You feel me? Like I, I, I can say that, and I have no problem saying, "Baby girl, can you explain this to me?" Yeah, well, you know what? I can learn from you. You feel me? Only as as, as much as you learn from me. Females are like more shallow when it comes to that. Yeah. No, no, that's true. Like what that's you mean? Like they like because. If okay, if they look for the status quo, oh, they make some certain amount of money. Mm-hmm. They don't want a man because you know, man, based on society, the man gotta be yeah. right. providers, you know, providers, protectors. Yeah. No, I I heard a chick talk to me before. Like I wasn't trying to get with her. He was talking to one of my boy. He was like, he's not making that much money, so I can't mess with him. What? You know what I'm saying? Like. I had a chip personally told me like I had a you know I drive a Chevy. He was like you don't have those twenty twos and then I can't talk to you. Wow. I you now. Guess what race she was? <laughs> <laughs> I kid money you girl, not. money girl, money girl. So but I feel she, like I'm yeah. curious now. Yeah, I don't yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, <laughs> I just feel like what did she do? She a city girl. Oh no, I didn't even ask oh. her. She was, when she said that, I was just like, alright, cool. You know yeah, what? Just, uh, <laughs> and uh, have a good day. Yeah. yeah. So, what about you, Marsha? Go ahead. I feel like, just to pick back off of what y'all said, y'all have to have a conversation. There's got to be some kind of mutual common denominator that y'all can really vibe on. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be a fitness vibe or, you know, you got to have ambition also. Mm-hmm. Like, if you are just complacent, oh, being the operative word here, being consistent and complacent and stagnant yeah, in yeah, your yeah, position yeah. in life is a turn off. You got to have some higher goal you want to keep growing you can't just stay in one spot because what's gonna happen when you stay stagnant you're gonna become miserable lonely and just all together just negative you know what i'm saying so that's my take cool 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 all right y'all i'm gonna wrap this up because i know i don't have that much time left on this video and guys i do appreciate you guys time like always you guys are killing it last question i'm starting this how many kids you would like in the future and like what what would be like your um Preference. Your yes. preference. <laughs> so, Lady O? <laughs> okay. At least two and a boy and a girl. Carl? Brian, um, you last. I want to say two. You know, I have three, but two older brothers. I want to say two. I want a girl. At the same time, I don't want a baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want a girl. I want a baby girl. <laughs> no, I do want a girl because I tell you, you know, I'll be very attached because I got me and my little niece are really close. Oh, okay. yeah. But I, I love my little nieces too, man. Uh, but yeah. the way I see this generation, mind you, I work in high school, mm-hmm. and the stuff I all. see and the stuff I hear, uh, oh, man. I can't do it. Yeah, I, just, I feel like it'd be easier for me to deal with boys. Yeah, you know, you know for girls. But even for me, I'll probably have the same same set that my mom had, which is two boys, two girls. Nice, four. Yeah, yeah, I want four kids. Nice, nice. I want my all American boys and I want my PhD girls. He pushed the girls to the education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, yeah, boys, sports. Like sports, yeah, like football, basketball. They're going to be running four twos and only in like 16, 17. Yeah. Like Ooh. bench, bench and heavy. Like, yeah. I already got it dialed in with my kids. <laughs> all right, guys, we're down here in the Iron Chambers. We're going to close it out. Call a big shout out, word of wise. Um, I get be smart, be wise. Shout out to the hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> Without a struggle, there's no progress. Mm. Stay up, stay strong. Stay positive. Until next time, guys. All right, tune.